Indonesian government said that the state budget deficit will reach below 2.5% of the GDP by the end of the 2022. This year's state budget is expected to drop compared to two years ago during the COVID-19 pandemic. Amid global economic slowdown, high inflation and geopolitical tensions, President Joko Widodo underlined the importance of domestic commodities aligned with investment. President Joko Widodo said export also played an important role for the past 31 months as country's export value has always reached a surplus. Yang ketiga, peningkatan ekspor. Kalau yang tadi hilirisasi tadi berhasil, ya ekspornya pasti kita akan naik. Dan kita tahu sudah 31 bulan neraca perdagangan kita selalu surplus. Tidak pernah sebelum-sebelumnya, tapi ini sudah 31 bulan. Kemudian yang keempat, investasi, peningkatan investasi, momentum, trust, kepercayaan dunia pada Indonesia ini harus betul-betul kita manfaatkan untuk menarik investasi masuk capital inflow sebanyak-banyaknya sehingga memperkuat fundamental kita. Furthermore, Indonesian Coordinating Minister for Economic Affairs Erlangga Hartarto stated that the nation's economy is expected to grow in 2023 amid revisions from institutions regarding economic growth projections including Organizations for Economic Cooperation and Development or OECD which has changed the predictions from 5.3 to 4.7%. Meanwhile, International Monetary Fund, or IMF, has revised the projections from 5.3 to 5%. Namun, dalam semua koreksi masih 4,7 sampai dengan uh, 5%. Kemudian, kita juga ketahui bersama bahwa uh, Indonesia pernah menghadapi uh, ketidaktahuan dan juga uh, ketidakpastian, terutama pada saat penanganan covid Namun, Bapak Presiden dengan kepemimpinan dan leadership yang tangguh, Indonesia menghadapi dengan adaptability dan juga melalui resiliensi, kita mengkoordinasikan sektor fiskal, moneter, maupun sektor real. The government also stated the country is ready to revoke COVID-19 policy known as Public Activity Restrictions or PPKM by the end of this year. This measure is expected to push the government to reach their goals for the New Year's economic outlook. Rebecca Napitipulu, Nico Arianto, for C Today.